refer to the left window to choose tooth number and click its buccal margin. If you make a wrong mark, please look at remark. Click remark button, you can mark it again. We need to check whether it's correct or not after automatic recognition. Left click the green line, we can adjust it below. You also can look down of AutoCAD, you will see tools diagram. You can choose other tools to adjust their lines or click next. You will mark them in turn. If it's not correct margin line, we can look at the right top window. There is a button, control points. We click it and you will see there are many points on the line. And we can drag any points you want. Well, we are going to step 3, insertion adjustment. You will see a right insertion cause the software make a optimized insertion to you. When you're moving it, you will see some red and yellow areas on the tools. They are undercut areas. But we need to avoid them. So please adjust tools to a correct position without any color, just like what I'm doing now. Nice. And I'll let you know another situation is a software will not make optimized insertion. You need to make it by yourself. Step 4. This demonstration shows the adjustment of the basic gap parameters which are related to the crown tightness. If the crown is red, that means the range of the margin gap parameters that is working on. If the crown is yellow, shows the range of axial gap parameters that is working. And the green represents the maxillofacial. If you can't remember that, it does not matter, please just take a look at the right chart. There is also a guidance that's showing you the parameters and the area that's going to be working on. About setting off the parameters, our suggestion is that the parameters are related to the manufacturer's milling machines, materials, and then it can be adjusted according to the effect of final milling and sintering. After confirming the parameters, you can click the button of tick, it means apply it. And you also can adjust the parameters one by one with tools diagram, or apply all the points, and apply the current parameters to all the same design types of abutment. Here I will show you the basic tools arrangement shortcut keys. Press F1, the left lower corner will pop out hidden shortcut tips. Control and left leg means rotation. Left click simply means translation. Control and view means zoom in or out. And then we need to adjust the position of the tools to a suitable size, reasonable readings, and ensure its functionality. Then click next and you finish this step. This step will see add and reduce wax, smooth tools, and tweezers tools. Please use the tools properly. Choose cutting tools so that we can remove the closed area between the processes and the gums so they can be more adjacent to each other and reduce the chances of manual grinding for insertion. When we finish to build the ship, we can click free click or point click so that we can drag points to adjust the bridge. You will see a picture on the middle of the screen. Green area represents strength of them is enough. If it's red, it means the strength of bridge is too weak to support connections between two T's. Click here, we can change whichever the bridge we want to adjust.
Final step is exporting. Click complete to save the design of the bridge. The automatic pop-up folder display is restoration case data. STL document can be used directly for printing or nesting. Well, please have a try and enjoy your designing.